everyone, James here and in today's video we're going to be talking about aquarium plants and what substrates you need to uh, actually grow plants in. So today specifically we're going to be talking about sand. So a lot of the common question when uh, people have uh, aquariums with sand in them, they, they ask, well, can I actually have a planted aquarium if I've already got an aquarium set up with just sand in it? And the answer is, yes, you can do it. Um, it's not always as easy as it is with, say, other different substrates such as uh, gravel or soil, um, but essentially you can do it. Um, it's just there's a bit more of a technique to it. So that's what I want to explore today. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. So before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content. I put out weekly videos on all of my fish keeping antics so hopefully there's something for everybody. Right let's get to it. Okay as we were saying a lot of aquariums have sand in it so when you start out you can have a various different amounts of substrates. Some use clay some you know to try and replicate a more natural environment mixed with a bit of sand and some other detritus and bits and pieces and grow that over time. Some people use soil and um, you can use aquarium soil there. Um, some use gravel um, that's a very common one in the in the hobby these days and some choose to not have a substrate at all. Um, but um, say for example you did go down the route of having a sanded substrate because I think that that's a really nice look for an aquarium. Sometimes that helps replicate a bit more of a, a sort of a riverbed or um, if you have a, a reef tank for example you know you sand in that to create the uh, you know sort of mimic an ocean. So you know sanded aquariums are, are really popular these days and uh, to grow plants in them like I said is a bit more difficult but there is a technique to it. So first of all let's just to address that some plants in the aquarium trade grow out of the substrate. So if you wanted to use plants in an aquarium with sand in it, you could use stuff like Anubias, which grows out of the substrate, like I said. Normally you'd have that attached to rocks or wood or any other bits and pieces that aren't actually planted into the aquarium, um, into the substrate, sorry. You could also use things like Java moss or Java fern. But if you want to go down the route of having um, stem plants, which are plants that you grow in the substrate that have a rooted system, um, then you're going to need to plant those into the actual uh, sand itself. Now from my experience, most plants will generally grow in the substrate with sand. Um, there is a couple of techniques to sort of help improve the quality. Now firstly, if you want to go down the route of using CO2, that is a great start. Um, CO2 helps uh, inject more carbon dioxide into the aquarium which helps the, the plants grow better and, and flourish and colour up better. Um, you could also use root tabs. Um, I did a, a review a long, long time ago now back on my channel about some really cheap ones I got off eBay but essentially you can buy little capsules or tablets or something that you put into the substrate and that helps um, inject uh, nutrients into there for the plants to uptake from their roots. So you can use that as well. Um, you know, also using the uh, sort of fertilizers that you get, you know, the, the liquid fertilizers or powdered or whatever you're using there, um, that would generally help your plants anyway. So using all those techniques is definitely gonna improve the plant growth. Um, although I've just used uh, fertilizers in the past and, and got decent results. So it really depends on what you're going for. Um, now, if you really want to get a bit more technical with uh, the actual substrate itself, um, you would always say that using a, a, a bigger, gra a, a bigger gran granule of sand would be better than something very fine because the finer the sand, the harder it is for the roots to move through the sand and, and uptake any nutrients. So uh, having something that is a bigger you know a bigger size is always a benefit it's the same with any substrates you get if you use gravel it's better that the uh, the gravel is is bigger than it is really fine and small because like i said more nutrients can get to it so i think that's my biggest tip really is if you're going to use sand um, and you really want to go hardcore on the on the plants then use a bigger um, granule of sand but again if you're trying, if you're using sand, maybe you are going down the route of replicating a bit more of a natural environment. So with my planted aquariums that have sand in them, I tend to just use one or two different plants and have them sort of scattered around and, and, and sort of use that along with floating plants or uh, plants that aren't in the substrate to make a really nice, um, you know, aquarium or aquascape or whatever you want to call it. But um, I'll add some B-roll to uh, the footage here so you can see a bit more of an example of what aquariums look like when they have plants in them. Now, if we've got a reef tank, um, a lot of macroalgae 
will grow out of the sand anyway so that's a great start some you can put into the sand something like Calerpa prolifera um, they have a bit more of a, a sort of a root that will go under the sand um, but most of those um, uptake nutrients from outside of the uh, the substrate so you've got a great um, opportunity there to just grow using um, fertilizers and just a decent lighting and good flow so you've got a few options there it depends on what you're going for really but um, essentially to answer the fundamental question through this is can you uh, can you grow plants using a sand substrate yes you can and it's not as difficult as it's always perceived to be on the internet so yeah check it out if you don't believe me drop me a message and i'll show you some pictures of my aquariums and uh, yeah we'll go from there really so i hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit more of a beginner's guide but uh, if you did give it a thumbs up let me know what you think of the video in the comments below if you want any more sort of beginner videos check out my playlists on youtube there's there's plenty there so you can sort of see um, if you're just starting out on your journey um, there's plenty for you there um, and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment if you want to support the channel there's links to all of my patreon and my merch store in the comments below and all my social media feeds if you want to follow along on different platforms there drop me a message i'm always uh, about to have a chat to you if you want to and until next time you stay safe <laughs>